Hey guys, this is Cheese with Seven, and this is the Optic Predator Effect tutorial. And I have everything already set up in Vegas because I have tried this tutorial many times, and each time something goes wrong. So if I, I believe if I just leave the presets, then you guys can follow along as I do it, and you guys have a visual to see how I, how I did it. So to start off you're gonna bring in your clip here as you can see in this video track I have my clip here and you're gonna do everything you would maintain aspect ratio unclick that and disable the resample of it and after you have that clip in you bring in you have to download the predator package or the download I'm putting a link in the description so you download that and you get five different things I'm pretty sure you get the acid lockdown which is the lockdown as you're shooting the the person the little triangle that uh, shrinks you have the AVP border which is this border right here as you see it's red you get the predator roar the predator snarl and the predator sounds basically the best one is the predator snarl because that's the one you hear in fusion 8's trailer and most of the predators montage the roar sounds unrealistic and the sounds are just a mix of different sounds so first you bring in the border and make sure the border you create a video track above your clip as you can see here and you have to go to properties and you uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable the resample and but it doesn't really about matter about disable resample because this isn't moving so it's not going to create any form of ghosting but you never know then you do your HDP VR crop if you want. I didn't because of time and tutorial purposes. But you put in that. And then the color, the default color of this is green. So you're going to go to video effects, which is right here, this tab. You go to color balance. It's right above color corrector, primary, and secondary. And you go to red midtones. And you drag it on. And you have to change the red setting all the way you increase it all the way to 0 0.5 or just type in 0 0.5 and green all the way down like decrease it all the way or negative 0 0.5 and then blue you put it to negative 0 0.1140 I do not know if that's the default setting for blue that is what I have it and you choose midtones and preserve luminosity so that and then you make a preset of it I made a preset and called it pred just so it, for this tutorial I could um, duplicate the original one I had in my example video so then after doing that you have to go to your clip and you have to find the spot as you're getting the kill what I do is I search for the part excuse me I just clicked that on accident I look for the part where the score is the biggest like let's say you killed somebody and you got like plus 650 or plus 500 I look for right as that score is going away or it's at its biggest as you can see here. So you split the clip wherever. Mine isn't exactly right on because I'm doing this as a tutorial and you guys would take more time. So you split it and you bring in, I already have it in, but you bring in the acid lock, down, lock on slow with no border. And if you download the first file and it's a QuickTime movie file or a MP4 file and it doesn't work and it just brings up a black screen and you can hear the audio, what I did is I downloaded a converter and I converted it to a Windows Media Video file, which is WMV. And if you guys need it, please leave a comment and I will upload that to FileFront or any media sharing website and I will send it to you because I have it right here on output media it's a WMV file as you can see but after you do that you place your lockdown so the ending of the lockdown is lined up exactly with when your clip is at its biggest because that's when you want the lockdown to disappear so um, you want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable resample of the lockdown and I don't know if you can notice in Sony Vegas because this sometimes doesn't show up in Sony Vegas but there will be these lines like the cursor will come in but it won't come in from the full screen it will come in and it will look like there's lines right here 
and along here. This is because whoever made this preset the acid lock on did not uncheck maintain aspect ratio and make it widescreen. But for these, you have to, for the border and the lock on, you will notice that the screen is black, completely black. You have to go to your track effects. No, not track effects, sorry. You go to this button right here. It's called compositing mode. You click that. And you change it should be on source alpha, but you change it to add because then this uh, it'll get rid of all the black space and it'll just keep the the parts you want. And you do that for both um, tracks. You do it for the border and you do it for the lock on. So you see it's on add. And then for extra effect, you can add the predator snarl, which comes in that package. It is right. One second, just let my thing load up it is right here predator snarl you bring it in and you drag it and you make a separate audio track for the snarl and for the lock on so when you bring in your lock on you drag the audio all the way down to the bottom and you increase the volume of it if you want a hundred I don't put it all the way at the top but you put it so it's louder than everything else and I put my gameplay so it's a little bit lower but you can still barely hear it so you have the split, so you make sure you have to make sure you split it at the right time, and you have the lock on, and uh, that's basically it, guys. I really hope you enjoy. Oh, for this predator snarl, I usually part it in, put it in right before the acid lock on starts, just so it um, fades in to the lock on, and you can add some nice color correction, which I've already added. And if you guys want these settings, I could. Uh, possibly make a tutorial on these settings but for now this is this has been the tutorial on the optic predator effect and I hope you guys enjoyed please comment rate subscribe and see you next time Oh my god.